So, a new Guy Ritchie film is out, and it's pretty sure it's not actually available in the UK. I, I tried to have a look when it's coming out, and I think it's maybe a month later, 19th of May. So, instead I'm going to talk about a different new Guy Ritchie film. That's right, Operation Fortune. This is a new movie on Prime Video which is co-written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Special agent, Orson Fortune, and his team of operatives recruit one of Hollywood's biggest movie stars to help them on an undercover mission where the sale of a deadly new weapons technology threatens to disrupt the world order. That definitely took me like four or five takes to get right, Jesus. If you've seen any Guy Ritchie film before, you know he has a very unique, distinct style with his films, and that mainly comes in the form of its dialogue and subsequently its humour. Snatch, Lockstock, and one of my recent favourites the gentlemen are great examples of this. Operation Fortune is very much in the same fashion here, however I feel like it can sometimes be to the detriment of the movie, and I feel like moderation could have been key here. But don't get me wrong, this movie at heart is a easy to watch, good time, special agent film. It doesn't mess about with giving us the main details of the mission and throwing us into the action rather quickly, however despite that it still took me a bit of time to warm up to this. Probably about a third of the quarter of the way into the film was when I finally felt like I was pretty committed. And the thing that kept pulling me out of here was actually the hit and miss of the dialogue. We got two Guy Ritchie fan favourites back again with Jason Statham and Hugh Grant, and you can tell there's a level of experience and familiarity that you need with dialogue like this, as when these two were on screen, that's when the dialogue was at its best. Especially Hugh Grant. He's playing a very similar character to what he played in The Gentleman, but there was loads of things that he came out with that had me proper laughing out loud. So those are the hits, but when it misses it, this is pretty badly, almost to the point where it's cringe. And I think one of the problems here might be that everyone's kind of playing the same character. Each person is trying to outsmug each other and the wit levels in the conversation are just increasing line after line. And it's kind of exhausting, there's no rest and it feels a little bit desperate because when it's bad, it risks taking you from a great Guy Ritchie film to a really generic spy movie fluff. And because of this problem that this film was having, my favorite character is actually played by Josh Hartnett and his character is just a breath of fresh fresh air amongst all the other characters that are playing the same role. And he was really funny here and it was great to see him return since his last film with Guy Ritchie, Wrath of Man. If you've seen the Nick Cage film Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, also on Prime Video, then you'll know there's very similar story beats from that movie and this one, and I probably would say that movie pulls it off a bit better. However, the story here still does work. The latter half of this gets more action heavy and that was really well filmed, I think. The final act has a couple of really neat camera shots, one looking through the scope in the barrel of the gun and another looking directly back at Jason Statham and that was a really neat idea, I really enjoyed that. And that's kind of essentially it. It's not a complex film, it doesn't drag, it's pretty to the point and it's just easy to watch. It's a bit more humour focused compared to Guy Ritchie's past couple of films, but if you've seen any of his past films and enjoyed them, then this is one I'd recommend. It's not his A-game material, but it's still a really good time. So yeah, that's Operation Fortune. Let me know if you've already seen it. It's been out on Prime Video for probably like a week or two now, so if you've seen it, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe and all that, and as always, stay tuned for more reviews on movies, anime and video games. Until next time guys, take care. Bye bye.